All right, well looky looky here. Look what we got going on. Awesome. Packaging from Amazon. Let's just see what's in here. There we go. Huh. Tread Pro. These are ARB's new recovery boards, I guess you'd call them, or extraction boards, device. Pretty cool. They just kind of came out with them, and I'm not really sure if they're just ARB's or if they bought that other company, Tread Pro. So let's uh, open them up here and take a look. Okay. We'll see how we open these babies up here. It's fun to do when you're trying to do this one-handed. Right. Tip them out. Cardboard cut here. First glance, they look pretty cool. I've never owned a pair of these before. I've touched them and felt some of the uh, other brands, like Max Tracks and stuff. Just never bought any. Um, these are uh, recovery leashes, so I guess you just tie these to the tracks so you can pull them out later. And. Bumper sticker and some warranty details. Let's get into those real quick. All right, so these are actually made by Tread Pro. We've got a ramp side here. It's kind of sloped. Um, little nubs and traction catching devices so you can shove that under your tire when you're start going. And then the other side here is labeled a shovel. So if you don't have a shovel, I guess you can dig down like that and dig yourself out of the sand. Um, so I thought these were made by ARB, it doesn't look like it, so these are just the Tread Pros that you've heard about, they're made in Australia, and then I think rebranded re by ARB. So I guess we'll see how they hold up. Um, we've got some handles, they stack together pretty nicely, and then supposedly the nubs um, are made from glass filled resin, poly resin, and then the boards are made from something else. So we'll see how they hold together. We'll go try them out here in a little while. And they also came with these little um, leashes, I guess you could say, or straps. We'll look at one of these real quick. Wonderful ARB name on there, right? So I think you just stick these through any one of these holes here and they have some mounting tabs um, right here. Maybe that's where your leash goes and they get some they get holes out there, so I guess you could mount them however you want to. Anyway, we'll take a look at these and try them out later on. Alright, we're out here in the little Sahara sand dunes. We've uh, gotten a little bit stuck not horrible i'm sure that if we pack up we can get back out of here we're going to try out our traction mats our arb tread pros and see if we can get the slight to a little momentum back up so here's the current situation we're not we're not buried yet but that's when you want to stop before you get buried see we're starting to dig in the front here so we're going to dig out the back here 
and uh, put the mats in the back here. Sorry, the wind's blowing about 30 miles an hour, so please uh, ignore the wind noise. Okay. These have a built-in shovel on the back. See how these do. Yeah, it worked. Sweet. Okay. All right, we got out. That wasn't like super deep or super hard to get out of, but they can definitely. Uh, they definitely do grip down in there a little ways. So far they seem to grip the tires pretty good. We're down to 30 pounds in the back and 40 in the front. We can probably go a little bit more. Yeah. Ross is going to try and destroy his ARB Tread Pros from Australia. Okay. Yeah. It's all you. <laughs> Let's see. No. Maybe there's pressure cracks. Pretty good. Can I see if one will survive? 